Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Bud, go lay down, please. Your tail is always in our shot. See how slow he blinks at me? It makes me think he's judging me all the time. He looks like this. That's the face he makes. Lay down. Enough's enough. All right, Box, what do you want us to talk about today? We got a lot of things coming up. All right, so today we got a couple things going on. Me and Box are going to run out. We're going to stop by my buddy TJ's. Um, he just finished up his willies. He just messaged me. He got it running. So we'll go check that thing out. I also have to hit uh, 10th Street Motocross. I'm meeting the Stat Fest guys there. And we're going to talk about liquor licenses and just the kind of whole legal aspects of doing an event. We usually just jam events together. But now that we're getting a little more eyes on us, we got to do things the right way. We're bringing those guys in to kind to help us figure out all the logistics and legalities about putting together an event like this. And uh, I'm just going to watch YouTube videos on how to cultivate uh, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, dead serious. I feel like we should do a food testing with Wallachs. I feel like you're very like um, chicken tenders, pizza, <laughs> bagels. Yeah, have you ever cheese. had a arugula? Cheese? You ever had ricotta okay. schwan? <laughs> no. Oh yeah. No. What else we got? I don't eat disgusting foods. No, I'm not saying disgusting. I'm saying like my fish. Like real, no, no. Fish I'm is not. gross. Some fish. Yeah. <laughs> you ever had skinjili? What is that? Uh, octopus? How about uh, what's the other one with the testicles? Yeah, no, never had that one. <laughs> you know what I ate when we went to Colorado? We have video of that, I think, where I, I ate Rocky, Rocky Mountain Oysters. A Rocky Mountain Oyster is a bull testicle smashed flat and deep fried. Crunchy. That's gross. And you ate one of those? Yeah, one. I ate a whole plate of them. They were delicious. <laughs> You didn't even taste them, did you? No. You didn't like a plate of bull testicles? I mean, we were in the Rocky Mountains, in Rocky Mountain National Park. Fried nut sack. You want to go eat fried nut sacks in Manhattan? I will bring you there. I will find you a redneck bar that serves it. If Steph could find it, will you eat it? No, I will not. Just one bite. <laughs> <laughs> one bite. How do you do it, like, insects and like, will you let spiders crawl on you? I've licked a black <coughs> caterpillar before. So, if, will you eat bull testicles? They're good. They're deep I'm fried. I'm going to eat bull testicles. All right. What will you eat? A $5 fill-up bowl from KFC. I won't even eat that. I love those. I think the KFC chicken is garbage. Are we getting anywhere? Or should we go in a different direction? Let's talk about where we're, where we're about to. Let's do one more about where... All right. So, we're going to head out to TJ's. And then we're going to... Then we'll head out to... You don't got to explain it all. Just be like, yeah, all right, that's it for the intro. We're out. Information. We're going. We're doing. We got stuff going on. We just got over at the Jockey Garage. Just got one of his dad's Willys started. This is a 1941 Willys pickup truck. I've been building it for pretty much 10 years, maybe a little more. It's something I started in my late 20s. I've been building it for my father. It's something I put my spare time in. Lately, there's not a lot of spare time, so it's taken some time to put it together. Uh, today is the first time we actually put it in gear and drove it. Chevy 350, aluminum heads, 871 Littlefield blower, 2650 Hollies. A lot of street rod stuff, a lot of big power. It's very loud. It's a fiberglass cab. You really can't find uh, 41 Willys pickup trucks. The handmade pickup bed that I made from steel. These are Ford fenders. Handmade the dash. Handmade like the gas pedal. Kind of put up way too much fabrication into things. Uh, but this is all handmade out of flat steel. Totally different. A lot of money into it and a lot of time. Yeah, you want me to start up? Yeah. Set off a lot of alarms in this. Yeah. Right now we're at 10th Street Motocross. We got the guys from Stat Fest with us, the movers. They're gonna help us kind of figure out all the logistics for this party. It comes down to like permits, liquor licenses, the stuff that I usually don't do, but we're gonna try to do this a little more legit this year and actually be able to promote it to real people instead of just our friends. They're gonna start helping us with all of our events. What's up guys, my name is Matt, one of the co-hosts of Stat Fest. I got my boys Ryan and Mike here, They're also event planners. We had the Holy Black at our event at Stat Fest, crushed the barber spot, and we heard that they host some crazy events. We figured it would be a great mesh to combine our worlds that's what we're here to do right now so Mike also hosts some Long Island events too all over Long Island so we're bringing in the whole entire squad to make this one of the best events that we've ever seen and that's the standard that we're gonna be holding from now on this is the guy who's making it all possible what up Cheech Duffy how you doing this is my motocross track we've been running the show around here for 14 years town shut us down two and a half years ago since we reopened I've been doing events really we haven't been able to afford advertising so I've been throwing like little parties four by four events hit bike races stuff like that to try and get people here during the off hours just to see what's going on not necessarily you need a dirt bike it's just something that you can come and check out <laughs> Had a heart to heart with myself last night. 
All right, so I think we nailed down everything that uh, we came here to do, and uh, where are you going? All right, so I think we nailed everything that we came here to do. Duffy's on board. These guys are gonna get on board and kind of help promote it and get it going. This October 26th, Saturday before Halloween, make sure you guys get down 10th Street Motorsports and get funky with us. I'm gonna stop worrying when I turn on the light. Be